Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on the energy ball effect in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you need a tripod when you do this because you want everything to be still. You don't want a lot of movement, so put your camera or your DSLR on a tripod, stationary place, wherever. Now, you want to bring your clip down to the timeline and you want to move your scrubber to a position where the individual starts to do the effect. So I'm going to put it there with the first frame where his hands are actually open and I'm going to click on this track to activate it and I'm going to click the title tool. It's going to create a title right where my scrubber is and it's going to open that up. Next thing you want to do, get rid of this stupid text. Hit the backspace button. Get rid of it. Next, if you didn't know, like I told you before, there's a shape tool here. So we're going to go to the shape tool and we're going to add a circle. And for the circle, we want to go ahead and add our blur. We're going to move our blur all the way up to 100 on this one. Want it nice and blurry. And we're going to go to our fill. Make it whatever color you want. I want mine to be blue, as you saw in the video. So I'm going to make mine blue. And then click apply. Now you got a nice little blurry circle there. Next thing you need to do is you need to add another circle. So go to the shape tool again. Add a circle. I'm going to move it over a little bit so it's not on top of the other one. And you want to make it smaller. And you want to change the fill color to white. Click apply. Bring that bad boy into the center of the other circle. Just line it up. They have crosshairs where the center of the other one is. So put the little red circle in the center of that one. And you know it is centered. Good. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller. You make yours whatever size you want yours to be. It's your damn ball. Energy ball, make it how you want it. The blur on this one does not need to be as high. Move it down to, I'm going to move mine down to 65. And there I go. Nice little energy ball all set and ready to go. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to stretch my text all the way out to the end of the clip that's below it. So I know it lasts the whole time. And now you got your little energy ball there, but of course it's sitting in the middle of the screen. And I don't want it sitting in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna click the jump backward button so that I know I'm at the beginning of the text or the title. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go to Open Effects Editor. Now I'm gonna go to 2D, 3D. I'm going to go over here to Studio PIP. I'm going to click on Show Media and Tracks below because, of course, I want to see where the stinking ball is. I'm going to change it from default to no preset, and now it's right in the middle of the screen. So I need to do a few things to get the ball where I want. I need the position, and I need size. That's all I'm going to use for this. First and foremost, I want to make it small because his hands start off small. If you want to start yours off big, go ahead. I think I'm going to start off at like six, maybe. And now I need to move it to where it belongs in between the individual talent's hands. Of course, you're going to make the adjustments how you need to for your video. This is my video, so I'm doing it the way I want to. Now that I have the energy ball in position, I need to activate keyframes. This part could take a long time depending on what you did. But basically, what you need to do, you need to step through at least about three frames and move the ball where it needs to go.
move about three more frames and move the ball where it needs to go again now if you didn't have a lot of movement you might not need to do this you might need to be you might be able to just use the scrubber and move it where you need to move it now you'll see that the ball is in a pretty good position right now so I'm gonna leave it there but as my talents hands start to open up I can change the size of the ball which is why I also use size so you see now talents hands starting to spread apart so I'm going to start sizing up my ball. If I need to, I can move it down. Or sideways, or whatever I need to do. And once again, you just keep on stepping through until the individual talent or the ball and the talent are lined up. Now I'm going to skip through to the end part to show you a quick piece because I'm not going to go through all these keyframes because I already did it. But if I was near the end, which I'm not right now, but I'm going to show you a few little tricks here. This is a position where the individual is going to move his hands back and forward. Now you want the actual ball to kind of jump off the screen like I did. then you're going to have to move the ball forward and you want it to shoot off the screen fast. In order to do that, when you're ready for it to shoot off the screen, when the individual brings his hands forward like that, I'm going to go right to the point where his hands first go forward, which is right about there. The ball, I would actually have a ball right about here at this point. And what I would actually do is jump this forward quickly. And the way you do that is you go from this keyframe to another keyframe fairly close. And you move this bad boy all the way off the screen. So basically what happens is it goes from being here real fast to jumping off the screen real fast. So make those two keyframes really close, jump it off the screen, and you're good to go. So now that I'm done with the keyframes here, I'm going to click OK. You'll see this bad boy has to render now, of course. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor again. I could have just stayed in the effects editor, but I wanted to show you to make sure that you know what the heck's going on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Show Media and Tracks Below. I'm going to go to Camera. And I'm going to go to Blur. Now what I'm doing is I'm just adding a blur to the, the title, which would be just the circle. So for the blur amount, horizontal and vertical, I'm going to go to 15. It makes the energy ball look more realistic. Like right now, you can barely see it. But if I move forward, you see it looks a lot more realistic now. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to click OK. Now, once again, I could have stayed on there. But again, like I said, I like to show you guys everything. So I'm going to right click on the title track again and go to Open Effects Editor. And this time, I'm going to add a little shake and bake, earthquake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show media and tracks below. I'm going to go to camera, and I'm going to go to earthquake. I'm going to go ahead and change it to no preset. I'm going to open my settings up. Now right now, I want my intensity all the way down to zero. And I want my shake speed down to zero because it's the beginning of the clip. And there was one part in there where you saw the individual shaking his hands. Well, that's why I want the ball to shake around. So I'm going to go ahead and activate keyframes on the earthquake. And I'm going to move this bad boy forward until the individual starts 
shaking. Just right about there. So at this point, I'm going to move the intensity up to 0 0.04. And I'm going to move the earthquake's shake speed up to 0 0.89. So now this bad boy is going to be shaking and baking. Along with the hands. So what I want to also do is get to a position where the individual ball is about to fly off the screen. And at this point, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do it when he brings his hands back. And I would have keyframed the ball back too like you saw in the effect, but I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm not doing all the keyframes like I said. But where you want it to make sure it continues shaking, make sure you add another keyframe here. And the keyframe will have the, sh the same parameters that the one before it had. And then right before it goes off the screen, you want to go ahead and add another keyframe. here but you want to change your intensity and your speed back down to zero that way it's not shaking when it goes off the screen so now when you see it you'll see that the ball is just growing then it's going to start to shake when the hand shake and it shoots off the screen and it's clean click ok and that's a wrap now, I had lightning in mind, but since Avid Studio doesn't come with lightning, I'm not going to go over that with you because if you don't have uh, a clip of lightning that you can use to Luma Key and all of that, then it doesn't make any sense to show it to you. I'm not going to waste your time. All right? You're welcome. There it is. How to make an energy ball in Avid Studio.